Hey there, survivors of narcissistic abuse. Welcome back to our YouTube channel, where we dive deep into all things related to narcissism, narcissistic abuse, and toxic relationships. I'm thrilled to have you here as we explore these crucial topics, providing insights that will help you learn, cope, heal, and gain a deeper understanding. Today, we're going to discuss a form of gaslighting that you may not have been aware of before. It's a sneaky tactic that many of you might have experienced, leaving you questioning your own reality. But don't worry, you're not alone, and we're here to shed light on this important issue. First, let's quickly review what gaslighting is for those who might be new to our community. Gaslighting involves denying the reality of another person, whether it's denying events, behaviors, words, or even invalidating their emotions. It's a manipulation tactic used by narcissists to maintain control over their victims. Now let's focus on a specific form of gaslighting that occurs when you're in a narcissistic relationship. Behind closed doors, it's all about invalidation devaluation, manipulation, lies, criticism, and even rage. However, when in the presence of others, especially people who matter to you, the narcissistic person magically transforms into the most charming, gracious, and generous individual. This Jekyll and Hyde behavior can be utterly confusing and disorienting. You start to question what's real and what's not. The narcissistic person's public persona may even convince you and others that they're a saint, while you might be viewed as the problem for complaining about the relationship. This constant back and forth, the whiplash of charm in public and cruelty in private is a private hallmark of narcissistic relationships. The narcissist knows how to wear the mask of charm to gain admiration and fuel from others, but it's exhausting for them, so they revert to their true, contemptuous selves when the show is over. Children who grew up with narcissistic parents might recognize this pattern all too well. The loving, doting parent in public and the emotionally abusive one at home. This creates a profound gaslighting experience, leaving victims full of self-doubt, anxiety, and confusion. To those who haven't experienced this personally, but know someone who is suffering in such a relationship, it's essential to understand this dichotomy and not fall for the charming public facade. Recognize that your friend or loved one is going through a challenging ordeal and their complaints might be valid despite what you witness in public. By shedding light on these masks that narcissists wear, we hope to help you understand this dynamic better. If your friend comes to you with their experiences, believe and support them. This dual life, this Jacqueline and Hyde experience is all part of the gaslighting game that many survivors endure. I hope this clarifies this dynamic for you. If you find this information valuable, please show your support by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. Together, we can raise awareness and empower survivors of narcissistic abuse. Thank you once again for joining our community. And remember, you're not alone in this journey to healing and growth.